Well, I just want to mention Malcolm Hill being up here. Californians didn't score very well at Road Atlanta, but Malcolm Hill did all right. Just kidding, Malcolm, just kidding. Okay, here we go. We're about ready to go with race number three on the program, race number two in reality. They had their two-lap warm-up, and we're about ready to go. Remember, one of the favorites, and it should be Marty Siegel, the La Habra, California rider. Uh, one of the riders that went back to road Atlanta, and he should be the favorite. We're about ready to go. Okay, with a big, big lead in the open class, and of course, uh, not surprisingly, Marty Siegel. By number 252, we should see him qualifying hard again for the, uh, the Suzuki 1100 series next year, as he's got the big lead going down in the, the front straightaway. California riders look pretty good uh, out here in California, don't they, Brooke? <laughs> Get him back there with the East Coast guys, and it's really a heck of a, a tussle. As, uh, as I mentioned, he's got the big lead coming out of turn number nine, and now we're going to check out the 750 class. And coming down here in the 750 class, bike number 51 out in front, Dave Langford, another one of those Road Atlanta qualifiers, as he heads into turn number one. Uh, Dave Langford leading in second spot was bike number 183, Richard Moore, another Road Atlanta native, and then comes bike number... Uh, in third spot, bike number 151, a uh, new rider this year who's been doing quite well at the club races. If he keeps this up, he should uh, qualify for uh, some nationals, uh, some of these uh, grand national finals, uh, regional finals, and, of course, some of these uh, uh, titles that they're going to be uh, putting up next year. So James Dumay running out there in third spot. And in fourth spot in that class, bike number 735, and by number 735 is the incredible... Marty Siegel looks like he's just out there ready to scrub in tires. He's uh, motoring around uh, quite casually. Yes, uh, no problems at all. Way big lead in uh, the open class. But we've got quite a scrap going here in 750 as we take a look at it. Coming down here, you know, it's uh, just a slight lead now. It's going to be Langford and Moore, and they're starting to pull away from Demay a little bit. Demay trying to keep in touch with them, but those three look like they're going to uh, probably... Uh, uh, wore it out to the end here in that uh, 750 class. And that's 51, Langford, 151, Dumay, and Richard Moore also sandwiched right in between them. Super Street up to the pre grid. 450 600 Super Street, one of the uh, highly entered classes. We're going to have about 50 riders going in this one, so it's going to be a pretty big, uh, pretty big list.
Okay, it looks like Dubay now has dropped off the pace a little bit, and he's going to leave it to uh, Langford and uh, Moore to bail it out in that uh, 750 lead. As they head around turn number one and go into turn number two. And you're right, Pete Carroll is stuck back there in a nice spot overall. A very unusual position for him. We usually see Pete Carroll up a lot farther than that. He's probably not riding his own bike. That's why. Look at this, Richard Moore is going to try to make a move now on uh, Langford. Langford, I think, felt the presence of Moore pulling up alongside of him and kind of gassed it just a little bit or left his braking a little bit longer and uh, swooshed into turn number one and swept right across Richard Moore's bow and regains that 750 lead. Well, we've got a great uh, five, six rider duel here in the back of this. Look at them swapping positions going into turn number one. Boy, five riders really duking it out for, it looks like, what, third in that class? In that 750 class, or third or fourth overall, at least, anyway. And uh, just a terrific scrap. We'll try and get some numbers and names for you next lap. Okay, we want to mention Pete Carroll, who's in that, uh, that I guess he's in that five-rider uh, melee up there, uh, is... Uh, He's on Doug Tolan's bike. Doug, is this the bike you're going to be riding in, in, uh, in a couple of the races later on today, or is it just your, what, transportation bike? What is this? Uh, it's just a 750 stock bike that we've been running all year, and I'm not going to ride it today, so Pete said he would uh, give it a try. Now, you're racing from the USA, aren't you? Yeah, we got the 1100 stock with carbs and a pipe on it. We'll give it a try and see what we do. All right, sounds good. Doug Tolan up here. And, of course, the announcer's nightmare is going to start again. It's going to be the tolan Poland duel, probably, along with Roloff. Thank God Roloff's got a different name. Uh, and it should be a great race between those three. And Vareki will be out probably. Is Jim Vareki supposed to come out and suspect you today, is he? No? Okay. Okay, it's still Langford holding on, off Richard Moore in that battle for the lead in the 750 class. Demay still holding down third spot, however, bike number 815, as we start the uh, that five-rider duel back there, 815 is Jim Martin on a Suzuki. Behind him comes bike number 489, Tom Kopp. Behind Tom Kopp will be bike number 489, and that that is Tom Kopp. Bike number 735 is behind Tom Kopp, and that is uh, Kevin Clark. Oh, Kevin's having a good time out there today, isn't he? And bike number 19... That's uh, Pete Carroll running in 7th uh, uh, spot overall right now, or 8th spot. And then running in ninth spot behind Pete Carroll, bike number 86, and that's Mike Johnson. So, uh, and 10th spot is Bruce Anderson, bike number 103. Siegel, a big, big lead, but look at this, the 750s are starting to catch him, it looks like, as that battle rages on for the lead, they're getting closer and closer to Marty Siegel, as they head into turn number one, Langford and Moore, and then comes uh, Dumay, a very lonely uh, spot for him on the racetrack right now, but behind him, we've got a uh, just a, a, a bloody battle raging here between uh, five riders, and look at this, coming down here, it's still 815 and 489, Cop. And Martin, and right behind them comes uh, 
Kevin Clark, who's stripped off the pace a little bit, and behind Kevin Clark comes Pete Carroll. Okay, we've got a white flag out, one lap to go, and uh, we're going to keep on that battle for that lead in the 750 class, but look at this, coming out of turn number nine, uh, it a boy, it's still Cop, it's still uh, Martin, and they're side by side with Kevin Clark in the middle of it, and Pete Carroll trying to chase him down, looks like bike number 86 now has dropped off the pace, Mike Johnson, uh, the uh, heat was just a little too much to handle, and he's kind of cooled himself off, and oh, one rider got off, one rider went off the track, and now he's ridden it back on again, so that four rider, that five rider duel was a four rider duel, it is now a three rider duel. And amazingly enough, the 750 bikes just passed Marty Siegel, the open bike leader, as, uh, the, in fact, Moore now may be planning a last lap move. Look at this, on the back straightaway, Moore gets onto the uh, rear wheel and slingshot by him. Boy, it's like Langford was standing still, and now Langford fights back. And Langford goes to the inside and takes it back. No, Moore takes it back. He did. He lost his drive. According to the up here, that may uh, have been crucial. Let's check and see. He's going to get in the draft coming out of turn number nine. Here's the battle for the win right here. This is the last lap. It's Moore and Langford. Here they come, side by side. It's going to be Moore holding them off. Langford second. Marty Siegel will finish third, first in his class. And now we're going to check for that... Uh, three-way rider duel coming down here out of turn number eight. There's James Dubay coming by. He had a very lonely time out there. Nobody to scrap with. And now look at Coming out of turn number nine. Here's this other battle we've been watching, and it's going to come right down the wire. Look at this. It's three riders away. 